Lauren Bontag, good morning everyone and welcome to clip compilation number 10. <laughs> yeah, so here we are down at the local church anyway, and someone's just said that they're issuing free rice out because of the calamity lately. We've had so many bad storms and typhoons come through that this little uh, truck's pulled up and he's issuing rice out. And I feel a bit guilty now because I'm coming down for my quota as well and, you know, I don't really need it to be honest because I don't really eat rice, but um, it's good of them to do it and they know I'm actually taking the rice back for the other family and I'm not just sort of, you know, coming along for the free ride. What a great idea though. Yeah, there's been so many families here affected with the bad weather and the typhoons and things. Uh, it's just nice to see someone doing a bit of good. We've got a kilo of rice. There's a tin of sardines in there and two big packs of noodles. So, you know, what a nice thing to do for the people here. It makes a real nice change. <laughs> right, one thing that the Philippines does really well is if you've got a Philippine SIM card in your phone, it doesn't matter what network you're on, You'll always receive a text when there's possible natural disasters on the way. And I've just saved a few texts here just to show you out of interest. The first one down there is warning you of the typhoon on the way. It's at signal number two. There's three signals when it comes to typhoons. One being the lowest strength and the third being the highest strength. The next one down is where I live, Masbati. And that's warning you there of heavy rains and possible landslides. Then the one under that and the one under that is my own volcano which is on the next island to me in Legazbe and that's had a, a few problems lately shall we say but that's just warning you there of the ash fall that's coming out after the slight eruptions and just telling you to wear a mask for protection against the ash. I just think it's a really good idea, really really good idea, they've got it spot on when it comes to this, instant text messages whenever there's trouble on the way. Right, it's about 4.45am in the morning and uh, when you can't sleep and you've got the beach here, what do you do but come down? And there's always something going on, I say, not even 5am and uh, there's people down here already and you can see by the size of this big uh, light here, they're catching stuff. Let's have a look what they've got in here. Well, there we go, they're catching fish. Thank you very much, Salamat. Right, I'll let them get on with what they're doing now. I won't disturb them anymore. They just seem to go along and then stop all of a sudden. Obviously they've spotted a fish and the young lad's got a stick and he sort of pokes around a bit and he must see the fish and he smacks it one with the stick and then they put it in the bucket. Well, it seems to work for them alright anyway, they've done quite well. That's the breakfast sorted anyway. Now we're just in this shop buying a refrigerator. <laughs> there we go. Now I'm not saying we live in a remote location or anything, but um, when they're filling the form in they've actually got a actually draw an address. <laughs> And this is it for the delivery address here, you see, because we've not got addresses, not proper ones with names and of streets and numbers and things. So for the delivery driver, you've got to sort of uh, just draw a diagram and hope he gets there okay. 